In this video, I'm going to show you how to combine datasets with the merge feature in the Python pandas library. And you're going to learn four types of joins. Inner join, left join, right join, and outer join. Let's get into it. First, I'm going to import the pandas library by saying import pandas as pd. And I'm going to run that. And now I'm going to load two small datasets that I just created. So I'm going to say df1 is equal to pd.readcsv. And I'm going to pass in the first dataset. And then I'm going to say df1 just to take a look at it. I'm going to do the same thing with the second data set now. So I'm going to say df2 equal to pd.readcsv. And I'm going to pass in the second data set that I created. And again, I'm going to say df2 just to take a quick look at the data set. All right, now we're going to move on to the most common type of join, which is the inner join. This only returns a new data frame where the rows in both of the data sets have the same value. So here's what the code looks like. I'm going to say df1.merge and I'm going to pass in the data set that I want to merge it with, which is df2. So I'm going to run that and that's going to return the rows that exist in both df1 and df2. So in this case, it's 101 and 103. But it's better to be more specific. So I'm going to say how is equal to inner. So this actually specifies that this the merging that we're going to do is an inner join. And for the third argument, I'm going to pass in a list of column names that I want to specifically merge, do the inner join on. So I'm going to say on is equal to ID and name. So this means that I'm going to do an inner join based on both the ID column and the name column. So if I run that, then I still get the same result, but the code is more specific on what type of join I'm doing and what columns I'm joining the data sets on. So you can see that both the ID and the name is existing in both DF1 and DF2. So that's why Walter White and Gus Fring, they, they're the only rows that show up in the merge data frame. And you can also see their net worth and their ages. The second join I'll talk about is the left join, which returns all the values from the first data set, but it only returns values from the second data set if they exist in the first data set. So this should make more sense after you see the example later. So I'm going to say df1.merge again, and then first argument is going to be the second data frame. And this time, instead of saying how is equal to inner, I'm going to say how is equal to left because we're doing a left join. So if I run that, then you can see that all the, all the rows from the first data set are returned. So that's 101, 102, 103, 104, 105. If I scroll down to the merge, you can see 101, 102, 103, 104, 105. But it's only going to show the values from the second data frame if the if that value exists in DF1. So in this case, you can only see the ages for 101 and 103 because these these rows they exist in DF2. So that's over here. That's Walter White and Gus Fring. They exist in DF2, and so that's the reason why you can see their ages. But for everything, for all the other values for Jesse Pinkman. Tuco and Mike, you can't see their ages because they don't exist in DF2. They're only a part of DF1. Now I'm going to talk about the right join, and this works the same way as the left join, but this time all the values from the second data set are returned now. So it's df1.merge, and then df2 is the first argument, and house equal to right as the second argument. If I run that, now instead of getting all the values from DF1, it's going to get all the values from DF2 because it's a right join. So you can see over here, DF2 has all the ages. So that's why you can see in the right join, you can see that all of the ages exist for each of the characters. But this time, the net worth is non-existent for the characters that don't exist in DF1. Okay, last but not least, I'm going to talk about the full outer join. And this basically returns all values from both data sets no matter what matching values there are. It's going to be df1.merge, df2, and then house equal to outer this time. So if I run that, then it's going to return all the rows no matter what. And you can see that whenever there's no NAN values, that means that those values exist both in df1 and df2. So that's why for 101 and 103, you see no NAN values because 101, 103, they exist both in df1 and in df2 but everything else has nan values in either the net worth or the age because the characters either exist in df1 
or in D df2 all right that's all i got for this video hopefully you now understand what the four join types are and if you want to see another python video then check out this short two minute video on exporting your data with only one line of code so i hope to see you there and thanks for watching